As hospitals across North Texas see an increase in COVID patients. Our numbers are definitely up and still going up. There's now added worry over the Delta variant. It is definitely a worse version of COVID. Here's JPS ICU doctor Stephen Davis. I think what's a little surprising is exactly how bad it has turned out to be in terms of its ability to spread and its ability to, to spread and infect despite vaccination. So how much more contagious is the Delta variant compared to the original strain of COVID? North Carolina state health officials put it into perspective. They say the average person sick with the original strain of COVID usually infects two to three others. But the average person sick with Delta may spread the virus to six people. The Delta variant almost certainly can be transmitted even among folks who are vaccinated, but what the vaccine prevents is the severe illness and death. We're hearing about a lot of people who chose not to get vaccinated, ending up in the hospital and having significant regrets. You don't want to be one of those people. Deborah Fuller is a microbiology professor at the University of Washington School of Medicine. She says new information about the Delta variant takes us back to square one. That means that we really do need to mask up again. Uh, particularly in areas where there are, you don't know, uh, you know, if other people are vaccinated or areas, uh, parts of the country where there's a high transmission rate. Wearing a mask prevents you from spreading the Delta variant if you're carrying it. But aside from a mask, health officials continue their push for vaccinations. To my mind, everybody needs to be vaccinated. Especially as this contagious variant continues to spread. The vaccine is critically important, not only for your own health, but if you want to look at it this way, for the health of the community in general and for the health of the health care systems in the community. In Dallas, I'm Alex Rosie.